Hey, it's Al here at Tilton's Heritage Pastures. Here's the original plot planted with peas and barley. What we've done is we've let the remaining turkeys graze through, kind of trample down a lot of that peas and barley. Uh, and now we're gonna hog it down the rest of the way and possibly be able to get uh, replanting again for the, for the fall. It's about the middle of October right now and we're having an unusually warm weather. We may be able to get this replanted and ready to come up for the spring. Now we have a, a, a few acres planted in peas and barley that have already been planted and are ready to go for the spring. It's an experiment that we're doing. Um, some of the research that we've done is, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about planting root vegetables for pigs planting turnips, radish, rutabaga, things like that. The only problem with that is studies show that it only has about a 6% crude protein content, which is not suitable for our, for our pigs. We strive to get that 16%. Your commercial feed is all at least 16%. Why would they waste valuable stomach space on anything less? If we went to 6%, we'd be dil diluting we would be diluting our 16% feed with 6% feed. That's not something that we're interested in doing. So with the peas and barley, that gives us a minimum protein percent of around 12%. And it gives us a biomass of right around 4,000 pounds per acre or two tons per acre. That's not as much. However, the quality is much higher and the irrigation is minimal to none. Uh, so, you know, if, when we planted this first plot back in July, we did water a little bit. Uh, it was very dry. It hadn't rained in a while. I watered once or twice and that's it. I haven't watered it at all. So irrigation is, is another key factor when you're you're trying to grow uh, feed feed lots for pigs another thing would be uh, if you wanted to do uh, peas or barley or anything like that you could potentially bale it however the the loss of grain and things like that might be excessive and from what i found the university of louisiana did some studies and they they uh dubbed the term hogging down so what they would do is produce grains and crops out in the field and they would put test lots of pigs on those uh, food plots and determine what the results were. So you could see here, the, the first experiment we're doing is on the American guinea hogs, which are very self-reliant out on grazing and, and pasture. You've seen a bunch of our other videos where we've hogged down gardens. We've tilled up pasture spots that were very compacted and had a lot of stone and rock in them. And they did a great job, went in, tilled, popped a lot of those rocks and stones and we were able to really clear. Actually, this is one of those plots that they originally went out on just on, on green pasture. So this is our experiment. We'll keep you up to date and let you know how it's going. And uh, so far, so good.
It was later in the day today. You can see how much they uh, were able to get done here quite a bit. We withheld the feed from their morning ration. You can see how they were really able to make a living today, hogging down this peas and barley. They still have another day or two of, of feed out here. There's definitely quite a bit. So I think it's a successful venture and we're gonna to continue to do it. Like I said, the weather has been holding out. It's a little bit colder this afternoon. You can see I got a sweatshirt on. It was t-shirt weather this morning uh but now it's getting a little bit cooler at night but it's still it's still warm enough to be able to put the the seed down and and get that cover started for next spring So this is that original paddock that we did way back when we started doing YouTube videos. Seems like forever. But you can see, you know, we let the, the turkeys come through here and get a really good, probably a week or two worth of feed off of here. And now we'll let the pigs through and they're going to take all the rest of that. You know, we use the term biomass just because it sounds good, but all the rest of that vegetation is just really good supplement to their feed and they're able to make a really good living. Chowing down on it. As you can see, there's plenty left here for the next few days. Of course, we'll give them a, a feed ration tonight when they come back to the barn. You can see how well they've really rooted up. You can see how much vegetation is really left in there. There's quite a bit. Like that right there majority of what you're seeing there there's quite a bit left and it does seem to be palatable to them they, they seem to like it and do really well on it I would even say these guys are 100% their entire day's feed. But we're gonna make sure they do get a ration because it, 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 we wanna make sure that they're getting the vitamins and nutrients that they really need. They have good clean water. Our water is all well water, so. Listen, you ready? Come on. <laughs> 
This guy playing in the hay. What are you doing in there, Fred? Hey, what are you doing in there? Huh? <laughs> you got your hay outfit on? You ready for Halloween? Hey, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Where's your eyes? Ah, what are you doing in there, silly? What are you doing inside that hay? What are you doing inside that hay, huh?